And as you well know, our Joy Clean Ghana campaign has been ongoing and the responses have been great. And talking about how we can keep our environment clean, we also do know that there is um, an environmental campaign that uh, was launched back in 2018, subsequently relaunched with the Better Scope uh, last year for, uh, with the Church of Pentacles. Now, I do have the coordinator of the environmental care campaign for the Church of Pentacles, Apostle Samuel Gakpato. And he's also the area head of, um, where are you area head, sir? Able Kuma. Able Kuma, yes. Church of Pentacles. That's right. And uh, we also do have here Mohammed Fauzan. He is um, a personal assistant to the Saki Zongo of Oduman. And uh, thank you very much, Fauzan. Thank you. Uh, great to have you. And, right, uh, and I see that you have brought in Fauzan uh, for, 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 for this conversation, but it's also because um, you've now reached out to more people. Yeah, yeah. so... The reason why Fauzan is here is because this year's campaign has been more focused on stakeholder engagement. Uh, we think that the, the environmental care campaign is, is not um, just an individual responsibility. So we think that we will need to bring in more hands. And uh, we stretch out our hands to our brothers. And uh, because I, I oversee the area of Anyablikuma, where Uduman falls part, he has been a very strong voice on the national team. Now, now, tell me about the care campaign and the stakeholders you have on board that so far have broadened and consolidated your efforts. Right. So the environmental care campaign is uh, one of the corporate social responsibility of the Church of Pentecost. Uh, as a church, we are very, a very uh, progressive church. We strongly believe that we must be relevant to our society. And more so, we must also be responsible to God who has given us stewardship over the years. And so it's a campaign that's captured in that vision 2023, a five-year vision of our chairman, Apostle Eric Nyameche, and the executive council. The goal is to engage all Ghanaians, beginning with our church members, to begin with thinking about our attitude towards the environment and how we can collectively take care of the environment, seeing it as God's property, for which we must be good stewards of that property. And then that was launched in the year 2018 by our, our chairman. And then we rolled it out in 2019. Uh, 2019, it was more like the, ch the Church of Pentecost just leading it. And we had a few challenges. So 2019, we, 2020, we've changed the strategy. The strategy is to broaden the stakeholders, mm. to bring in chiefs, to bring in our Muslim community brothers, mm. to bring in... GPRTU, station masters, schools, and all of that. Mm. Now, now Fozan, if you look at the initiative so far, how is your community going to contribute to the, uh, the, the care campaign, the education care campaign? Thank you very much, Mr. Presenter. My community, especially uh, Zongo Oduma, as we all know, uh, has embraced the program. And uh, moreover, the youth in the community, the chiefs, as my uh, campaign manager said the chiefs and the people in the Zongo are all have all embraced the program because we have seen felt is a dangerous aspect in life. It can kill all of us. We can imagine the uh, outbreak of that very dangerous disease at, in China. You see how they are very busy tackling that very program. The same thing, Oduma, Zongo, and the surrounding areas too. We have more. So, usually, what do you do? Usually, we are into the community. Some of us are not working. Some of us are working. Those who are working too used to go outside the uh, community to go to their workplaces. But those in the community, we are the people staying there. If they do the field, they leave it for us. So for that matter, as this uh, message came out, Sarki Zongo, Duma, Suleiman, Mandi, and the whole com entire community embraced the program for us to fight against all those fields and whatever the community is facing. At the moment, if you get to Oduma from Isakina, Oduma, Mahia, uh, Block Factory to Ablikuma. You see the gutters full of waste materials which should be cleared out. So, what would they be doing then? All right. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, these are all inclusive initiatives now. Okay. So, what, what is happening is that from today, today is 24th all the way to 29th, is the week of massive engagement. So, we are moving from school to schools, we are educating our, our students. We are moving to the marketplaces, educating the market women. We are moving to the streets, educating all of them. That littering and these, I mean, uh, indiscriminate throwing of um, debt and all of that is inappropriate. But on 29th, 
we're going to do a massive cleanup of the entire community. Mm. And this is entire Ghana. Mm. This is a COP nationwide. Mm. Everywhere we are, we are leading together with the stakeholders to do a cleanup. So it is doing the cleanups that we will together with all of them. And they are moving with us in the education. On Friday, we're going to the mocks to, do, to educate our brothers there. On Sunday, they'll come to the church to educate our people there. We think that doing the two, pro, two, um, two fork approach would really be helpful. But it's not just going to end on 29th. It's a year-long action plan. Mm. And the good thing is that the action plan is not drawn by the COP. It's drawn by a collective community. So the chief is seated, the traditional rulers are seated, and together with all of us, we have drawn the action plan we want to roll out. Now what is going to happen is that on the 7th, um, on the 13th of March in Oduman, we're going to have a community deba where the chiefs are going to tell all the community people the decisions we have taken regarding our environment. And that is going to be binding on every community member within the community. Now, that for me is good news because what is going to happen is that in Oduman, for example, the chief himself has drawn out... Uh, or has formed a tax force, for that matter, a tax force, a, a community tax force that is made up of all other churches and all other groups here and there. And they are going to be responsible for making sure that the actions we have decided on will continue throughout the week. So what is your commitment now, Fauzan? Our commitment now is today, Monday, we have started distributing letters to schools. We have started distributing letters to all the communities. Tomorrow, Tuesday, We'll go to the marketplaces and tell the market women and uh, station master that will be on Wednesday, Tipa truck station, truck truck station, uh, taxi station, Okada station, whichever, whoever uh, staying there. There's those telling at the roadside, the containers and the marketplaces will be going there on Wednesday to uh, give the information that on Saturday, that is on 29th of this very month, all of us will come out and help to clear that filth in the community. On going forward, to, uh, that's on Thursday, after distributing the letters, giving information and whoever to the churches, to the uh, uh, clinic and polyclinic and whatever, will come and find out whatever we sent out, how far have you gone with it? If it's possible, uh, positive, then we'll move forward. If there's any hinges, then we'll correct okay. it. Then on Friday, on Friday, we'll get to the mocks, give the message to the, all the mocks, whoever there's Juma and whatever. So that they will understand whatever we intend doing. Then Saturday. Great one. That's what we call yeah. monitoring and evaluation. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great, well compact. And yeah. I know that Zoom Lion is also uh, yeah. on, on top of this, uh, collaborating with you on Exactly. This. Well, exactly. Thank you. And um, it's the Environmental Care Campaign. I tell you, the Church of Pentacles doing great work and with the uh, support uh, of, uh, let's say, Zoom Lion and a number of the agencies around there. They are now enrog en enroping. Communities, uh, we have churches, we also have schools, we have mocks, and we clinics. have um, clinics, all, all in communities yes, involved. All in community. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, next we have to move on to showbiz, but my guests have been Apostle Samuel Gakpeto, coordinator, environmental care campaign, the Church of Pentacles, and Mohammed Fauzan, he is with uh, the Saki Zongo office of Uduman. Uduman. Thank you Sal very much. Salki Suleiman Mandi. Shukran, shukran. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we have to take a break. When we come back, entertainment right here for you.